Hi friends, welcome to the series, how to elevate your portraits and content as a photographer using Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop, and Express. My name is Idari Kpa and I am a portrait photographer and over the next few weeks, I'm going to be covering a variety of topics that is going to help you take your content to the next level. Today we are starting with the introduction to creating cinematic portraits through your color correction and color grading. Quick disclaimer, there are a number of things that are going to play a part in a photo being cinematic way before you even get into your editing. And those include how you light your subject, the angle that you use in your shot, and even down to the composition and framing of your subject in your portrait. Those are all components that you need to master well before getting into your editing. But once you've done that, we can move to the next step. Color correction is the process of making the colors in your photo more true to life. And these include focusing on your exposure, your contrast, your highlights, etc. Color correction is great, but what truly makes a photo feel cinematic? That's where color grading comes in. Color grading is all about creating that mood and feeling to your photo. And you can do this by focusing on your HSL sliders and Adobe Lightroom, or you could even take it a step further by focusing on your color grading wheels as well. I personally am a huge fan of the color grading wheels because it allows you to add color to your highlights, shadows, and your bent tones. Now let's put this into practice. I'm going to be breaking down the process to one of my cinematic portraits in Adobe Lightroom. Let's dive in. So now we are in Lightroom. We're going to go ahead and start off with making those basic adjustments to the white balance as well as the exposure contrast, all the different basic areas of this photo just to get the photo in a really nice spot before we do our color correcting. So you're going to see here that I'm just making slight adjustments to it. I would already say this was already a photo that was properly lit so I feel like she already kind of is properly exposed but we're just going to make some slight adjustments just to see um, where we're at. I am going to remove some of the shadows. I feel like there was a little bit of contrast and shadows around her face so I did kind of um, focus on that a little bit and just again there's no science to this. I just kind of play around with the sliders until I get what I want. Now we're going to come down to our HSL sliders and same thing here, just going to play around with the colors until I feel like I get the colors that I truly want. I feel like look the most natural on my subject and also take into consideration like the color of the background, um, also the color within the flowers as well. You can see the flowers are very kind of blown out. So I want to kind of bring some depth back into them. So here we're just messing around with the saturation and just kind of adjusting some of these colors um, and you can slightly see them changes. The orange is kind of um, adding saturation to her skin, which we don't want to do too much of. So we want to make that very minimal. Um, and so just be very careful when you're making these adjustments, especially when these adjustments impact skin. So just kind of playing around the sliders, seeing what I find. And then I'm going to bring down the reds just because you can see there it brings a little bit more depth to the flowers as well. Now we're going to move to our color wheels. So this is going to be the part where you can add colors to your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights. I really love this because it just adds such a creative element to your portrait. So I don't have a like a way I usually start. I just pick a circle and kind of go with that. So I'm starting with the midtones and adding, you know, kind of like this red color to the midtones. I like how that kind of sits. And you can just kind of click randomly within the wheel just to see what the colors look like. So I'm just going to kind of do that, but I feel like I like what that red is kind of doing to the image. And then we'll move on to the other wheels as well, going into our shadows. And again, just finding a color that I feel that complements the subject, but also complements the overall scene that I'm trying to create. So you want to be very careful while you're doing this. So you can see here, as you kind of go up and down, it's going to increase that saturation of that color as well. Now we're going to go into our highlights, and this is where I feel like we're going to even everything out. I love, love, love to add green to my highlights. I don't know why or what it does. It just kind of adds this beautiful tone to everything. So if you see a lot of my work, you'll see that there is like this greenish tone to it. It's just a preference, and that's really the style that I have. So 
So I hope you all enjoyed this lesson. Be sure to be active in the comments below to let me know what you think. And in the next episode, we'll be talking about how you can maintain skin tones in your portraits while editing in Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. See you there.